Hey, hey Scotties. My name is Gabby Foley and I've been working at St. Margaret School this summer helping to restore the sailboats and crew boats. And I'm Collie Bell. Uh, I'm Mr. Bell's son. You probably know him and I've been pretty much doing the same too. And this is an introductional series of videos for you guys, how to operate a sunfish. We're gonna teach you the lingo of a sunfish, all the parts, how to safely rig it, and how to safely operate it in the water, and just give you an introduction to the idea. Hey everybody, you know this place. Uh, we're right behind A House right now. This is our beach, and we've been cleaning it up a bit this summer. If you come down here, if you ever want to take out a sunfish, the parts are always gonna be in here. There's gonna be a lock on it too, so you're gonna need some permission to get inside, but as you can see, those are our sails, those are our rudders and our center boards. So if you ever need to take one out, they're always gonna be in here. And if it, there's ever been a storm, we're gonna be bringing them in. So they're gonna be just on the grass like this, but most of the time they're gonna be moored out by the dock. So we're just gonna show you here how to take one out. Always good to remember when you pull up your boat out of the water to undo the plug and have it laying on the side where the plug is. That will drain all the water out of the boat. And if it doesn't get it, you can even fill it up with a, a bailing cup. It's good to bring a cup out sailing. Just to get all the extra water out of the boat. It won't sink you, but it's more comfortable that way. Alright. <laughs> balance out the boat with the weight of your body. If you're, if you're pulling it at like an arm's length reach, like a beam reach, you can touch, it's, it's, you're going pretty fast and you can kind of feel the boat toward kind of tip a little bit. You get in the boat. Now I'll explain it for you here. Okay, and basically what you'll do is you'll put your feet underneath the hiking strap, kind of where your shoelaces would be, and you'll hold on to the main sheet the rope that controls the sail. And you'll kind of use your body weight to lean out of the boat and balance the weight if it's moving one way or the other, if you're going too fast. If you're not comfortable going fast, don't feel pressure to use the hiking strap. Just go in a safe and visual place. In the back of the boat, Alright everybody, so now that we showed you parts of the boat, we're going to show you actually how to rig a sunfish. So, every single time you want to rig it, don't do it on land. Have the boat at least a little bit in the water. It'll be a bit easier when you actually do it. But when you get the sails out, they're going to look just like this. You want the mast, which is going to be tied up with the boom itself, and the sail is going to be tied around the boom. So, we'll go ahead. It might be a bit awkward because it's a bit slow sometimes, but... All right guys, now that we showed you the parts of the boat, we're going to rig it. So the first part you want to rig is the sail itself. And the first part of that is going to be the mast. So you're going to put it inside of this hole. Always watch out for this line, because it's one of the most annoying parts, I'll tell you. Sunfish sailing is this line getting loose when you rig it. So make sure that's okay. And uh, you're going to put it into this hole. Now the first thing you want to do before you put it in there 
is to make sure that this is lined up with the hole. And another part of it too is to make sure that this is the bottom one. So since this one is on top of this one, you have to rotate it and make sure this is on the bottom. Because this is going to stay flat with the sunfish the entire time. This top part is going to be raised up when we get it all set. So bring this back up, slot it through the ring and push it into the hole, just like that. So now that that's all set, we want to make sure that we have all of this untied. The proper way to secure your sunfish is to make sure that the sail's tied afterwards, either when you have it moored or on shore. Make sure you get the right end, as I just got the wrong one. Right. No, that was the right one. All right. All right, it took a little bit of time to untie it, but this is a good opportunity to just explain another point about this. This is your main sheath. Most of them look like this. It's the thicker rope on it, um, and that's what you're gonna tie up your sail with, is your sheath. So the system that works with the sheath is these pulleys on the boom. You wanna make sure that the sheath, and usually it will be when you're rigging it, but in this case, they came out. You wanna make sure that the main sheet goes through these pulleys. or else the sunfish just won't work. So now that the sheet is through, we can leave it there while we hoist the sail. We're gonna use this line from before to do that. So you wanna make sure you pick this up here, just so you can control the sail when you start lifting it, and just pull. This is about the height you're gonna want. You'll know because there's some marks on the mast as to where the ring's been. You see this one's an old one, so there was marks pretty much everywhere along the bottom. But there's some marks here to indicate that it's pretty much around this area. So you're gonna be able to duck under it when you tack. So once it's fully taut, you wanna make sure you can pull it as hard as possible and you'll be able to tell when it's there because at the very top of the mast, it's connecting with this part pretty much. There's not much else you can pull on it. So now that that's done, and then before I forget, You'll notice how I'm pointing this sail. The wind is coming from that direction right now, and the sail is pointing towards it. You want to make sure that when you're rigging it, the sail is always pointing towards the wind, because if you try to hold on to the boom of it, you'll see that the boat's going to start to move, the sail's getting tied. You don't want that, because it can smack you in the head. It'll be a bad day. So, now that it's taut, you take the end of the rope, and the quick tug, put it through this little eyelet here, Pull, 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 pull. And pleat it. There's proper ways to do it. I'm just going to usually do it like this, but you'll see in your little handbook the more proper way. That looks pretty good, though. Um, what you can also do is shorten the length of the rope just by doing this kind of knot. Yeah, and you'll see it in your handbook, too, that we make for you. But really on the sunfish. You can leave it almost anywhere. I like to throw it in here, but it's okay there. So now you have your sail up and hoisted. So this is going to be your rudder. Your rudder is basically like your steering wheel. This is so important and crucial for sunfish sailing. Attached to your rudder is your tiller. Your tiller is how you hold behind just like that, being able to steer the boat. And then this part on the very end is your tiller extension, which is the part you're gonna be holding, this nice foam piece with the wide end. So we're gonna teach you now how to properly put the rudder pin into the fitting on the back of the boat, all right? So it's a little tricky. You might need two people for this. You might need a tag team it. So what you wanna do for safety reasons is to get this tiller and the extension underneath this wiring, all right? And then you can see, you know it's straight up because once you tilt this down, once you tilt this down, that can be a little tricky, it'll say sunfish, straight up. Straight up. Press it down and lock the pins in place. This might take a little bit of a while, but it'll work once it works. So basically you want to be able to get it so the bottom pin is in first. See that little groove? 
and then the top pin goes in. It's really difficult to do this when the boat is moving, so be patient with me, guys. All right, so you're gonna put the bottom pin in, and then while the top pin goes in, you wanna, and you'll say, oh, it didn't go into place. That's gonna happen nine or 10 times before you really get it in. <laughs> and that's normal. Just keep working with it until you hear it, that satisfying click into place kind of moment. You kind of want to push up on the bottom. There we go, now it's clicked in. And then you put it into the water. And this is how it'll work from a physics perspective. You're sitting right here. And look how your movement on the tiller extension affects where the boat is going to go.
away to find serenity. 